Um, do I, do I, it's a mic? Okay, great. Hi, uh, Peter Semler with Capital Intelligence Black Business News. Um, I interviewed Mark Bra uh, Bradford just on Wednesday in Art Basel, Miami, and uh, we're doing a lot on the renaissance of Baltimore and uh, you know, the wealth creation, the economic opportunities that are coming in. And Mac Mark Bradford being the number one and foremost American artist running the Venice Biennale, now opening up in Baltimore. And culture is one of the greatest engines of job growth and opportunity that is possible. Have you combined this with the efforts by Mayor Pugh and Governor Hogan to bring Amazon second headquarters? That's gonna create 50,000 great six-figure jobs, plus another 60,000 jobs, almost increasing the population of Baltimore by 25%. Is this something you've been working on? Because this is good. This is really, this is jobs and opportunity for everybody in Baltimore, you know? You know, we know the riots and stuff, and having Mark Bradford, and we know arts. We have the best investors, you know, Len Blavatnik, every of the major hedge funds are in Basel, John Paulson, buying art. So you have all the greatest art, money men and investors in the world at Art Basel. Are you going to be combining this? And I'd be really interested to hear your, uh, your, you know, your thoughts. Well, so, so Mark's an artist. Right? Yeah. So he, does, so he, he works in the, in the social realm. Yeah. Really, but he doesn't, yeah. So I'll, let me give you an example. So he, in, in, just in Venice, there's one person, Pietro, who's remaining in, and he's in prison for almost two years. And Mark had it in the collecting. You got Goldman Sachs, you got Michael Bloomberg, now we just get Jeff Bezos, and yeah. You know. But it's part of making a city a place people want to live. But I think what Mark and what Baltimore are concerned with is that you don't push, that you're, you're bringing everybody up. And that's what he's interested in. UBS Credit Suisse? Yeah. 